Hey, what's going on, Trap Watchers? Today is October the 5th, 2021. We're going to do another expose on another stock pick that Sven Carlin has done about three years ago. Look at this video. October 24, 2017 was when this video was posted on YouTube, and he did a recommendation. You guys can see there was four stocks to buy in November 2017. Now, I get it. You guys may say, well, he's a long-term investor. That's why I'm doing this video. It's been three years. So hopefully within the three years, this stock pick that he recommended on this video would have increased in value from the day when it was posted, right? So make sure you guys tap in with me. If you guys want to learn more about what we do, because we simply look at the price chart. We don't try to get you all involved on fundamental analysis, earnings reports, revenues, estimated earnings per share, none of that. The only thing that matters is what you and I are willing to pay for on these particular assets. That's the only thing that matters. So if you guys want to tap in with me, guess what? We're here because we're going to be doing more of these exposés on these stock YouTubers just to see if their stock picks are actually good picks, right? We want to see the performance. Are they good pickers of stocks or are they not? So we're going to look at this one. It's been three years, right? So we have enough history to at least see this stock recommendation that Sven did back in October 2017 to see if it actually was a good pick. So tap in with me. So you guys can see first, there was this one stock right here, which is called Junk Pie. He talked about this particular stock on this video. The ticker symbol is JP. Now he mentioned when he originally did this video back in August, he recommended Junk Pie Holdings, right? So let's just take a look at the chart and let's see what the price is today three years out. Let's see what the market has done in Jump High now. Look at that. On this video, I want you all to see these things, right? He predicted that the market in Junk Pie was going to go up, right? Let's take a look. Now, if you're a long-term holder in the stock market, meaning that many people on YouTube try to say they want you to hold stocks for the next three to five years, correct? Am I right? Am I wrong? They always want you to come in and hold these picks for the next three to five years. Some even say five to 10 years, even 20 years. They want you to hold these stocks for 20 years. Now, look at this particular play. He recommended it in August, which he talks about on this video in October of how massively the stock increased in price when he recommended it, right? But let's see, look how long it took for the market to come back down. So you have August. September, October, November, December, you maybe have what? Seven to eight months to where this particular stock was in profit mode. Look at it. This is why you don't hold stocks for the long term. Every stock that is being recommended on YouTube is not meant to be hold for three to five years. Your profitability was garnered in the first eight to nine months, 10 months. And then after that, your profit was dwindled. So from August 2000, I mean, July, I'm sorry, August 2017 till September of 2018, your profitability was now gone. And you guys can see what the price has been doing since September 2018. Look at it. You're now down. If you're still in this play, you're down 89.85%. Now, why would you be down? Well, if you're following the recommendations of these stock YouTubers, they want you to be in these plays for three to five years. So this recommendation that he did on this video back in August, if you were to hold three to five years, well, you're down 85, almost 90% right now, just right now. And let's say for instance, you wanted to break even. This is how much this stock would have to increase just for you to break even. 964% this market had to move just for you to break even. This is why you don't want to hold stocks for the next three to five years. The next 10 to 15 years, you guys can literally tell that your profitability was garnered in the first couple of months, less than a year. You had less than one year to take the profit off the table on this particular stock that he recommended back in August, right? So now that is that particular recommendation. Let's look at the one that he mentions on this particular video, right? He spent right here. This video is about 19 minutes long, almost 20 minutes long of him doing his due diligence, of him doing his fundamental analysis, of him doing his research, 19 minutes. So you would think out of the 252 people who liked the video, all of the reports that he reflected, take a look. 
This is all the information that he garnered for Zingin, which is a real estate holding company. Look at all these charts. Look at all these articles that he went through to show you and justify why this particular stock is a buy. Just take a look. More and more articles, more and more charts is being revealed. More and more news points and data points that he goes through for 19 minutes that he tries to justify the recommendation of this one particular company. Take a look. For 19 minutes, he gives you all this information, but yet and still, someone is gonna leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me that you need to do your own due diligence. Well, it looked like he did enough due diligence for you and me and everyone else who watches this video. Look at all this information. I mean, how much due diligence are you supposed to go through? It looked like he did enough for everyone. Look at this. He continues to go on. Looks at the debt structure. Looks at their earnings per share, 2015. And he continues to go on and on and on. That is due diligence for Zing Yuan. Right there. So this video was posted on October 24, 2017. So I'm going to go back and we're going to look at the chart, right? Real quick, we're going to look at the chart for Zing Yin, right? For the month of October. And we're just going to look and see what the price is now. Right here, October 2017. This is where the market traded in Zing Yin. Now take a look. The market did go up for this particular stock. It did. But like I told you earlier, you had a very small amount of opportunity to take the profit off the table. If you're holding into these stocks for the next three to five years, look at where you are at right now. You're down 69% on this stock recommendation from the title that reads four stocks to buy in November 2017 part one. So there's three other stocks that he recommended on this video. This is one of them. You're down right now 69.12%. Now, let's say you wanted to break even. Just for you to break even on this particular play, the market for Xing Yin would have to increase 224%. Just for you to recoup and break even on your investment. 224% this market would have to go up just for you to break even. Now, let's take a look at some of the comments that he got from this video, right? So you got a couple of comments here of where he's asked people you know, some of his subscribers, some of his viewers who saw this video asked him the question. Hi, Sven. Zing Yen Real Estate is now back to its 2015 lows. Are you planning on reanalyzing this stock? This is his reply. Not really. Too ugly to own for me. Better focus on good businesses. Wow. So he went through a whole 19 minute video back in October of 2017 during this due diligence and he wants to come back in the last 10 months and say, no, it's too ugly right now for him to do more research. You need to focus on better businesses. Well, back in 2017, you spoke as if this was a good business, but instead you look at the price, it's completely opposite. So you really have to pay attention to the information that you all are garnering from YouTube. We're going to start doing more exposés on these recommendations because a lot of them do not come back and look at the performance of what these picks have done. It's been three years and this market, presumably you would expect us to see this market go up, but instead in the last three years, you've been trending down. You've been in a loss. So this is one of them. Look at this one. You guys remember that one pre previous stock that he recommended in August? Somebody else left the comment about a year ago. Hi, I watched this video on May 7, 2020, right? And now Junk Pie stock is at $1.13. So down more than 95% since this video was made. However, I guess that is the name of the game when you pick a small cap stock. Likewise with fraud, bankrupt company, Amiria and whatever that Basami Rice Company was called. I guess it is inevitable to have quite a few disastrous stock picks among the small caps. But if you have a regular 10 plus bagger, the portfolio could do well on average. Somebody even did another comment. Look at this a year ago. Sven, I hope you read this. 
As I am writing this, January 1st, 2020, this stock tanked to $1.42 from 26 to 28. They talk about the jump high stock. My question, what happened? Same story as by the Basmati Rice Company. This is his reply. I, I, I really don't know. Didn't follow and sold Basani also in 2017 early videos. Somebody did two years ago regarding Zen Win stock. Are you still holding XIN? There is a nice dividend yield now. This is his reply. Nope, made my money there when it went up. I have better risk rewards now. Wow. So you're planning on holding stocks for the long term, three to five years. And he's telling you already that he came into the market and made his money, I guess, within this time period. This is the only opportunity he had to make money in Zing Win. December, January, February, and March of 2018. That was the only opportunity he had to make the money. Outside of that, he's in a loss. So he read the market. He saw the market go up, but he never came back and told his viewers, his subscribers, that he got out the play, if even if he was in the play, or that the market is not anticipated to go up any longer. He did a 19 minute video, 16,280 views, and he did not even come back and do an update video on this particular recommendation that he did in October 2017, right? So now I get it. You guys are gonna drop comments in the comment section and say, well, he don't tell you when to get in and when to get out, but he sure could tell you when to buy it. Did he not? It's not know what the title reads four stocks to buy he didn't come out and do another video to say four stocks to sell he didn't do another video to say this time to sell a zing win did he so it kind of shows you that the interest that this youtuber has may not be in your benefit that they literally leave you there hanging with the bag just something for y'all to consider just wanted to give you all another expose of a stock recommendation that did not go correct it went wrong you guys can see it visually for yourself i'm not hiding anything from you you guys saw the video you guys heard the clip did you guys hear the clip let me let you all listen to this clip of what he said in regards to xing Wen. all right let's listen to this real quick so if you want another undiscovered chinese company and wait for it to be discovered and the stock price to be three times higher like it was the case for upi then take a look at xing Wen holdings xing Wen holdings you heard it right there. I took a small clip from the video to where if you want to have gains like you did in Young Pi, he told you. Look at Xing Win. Do you want to hear it again? Take a listen. So if you want another undiscovered Chinese company and wait for it to be discovered and the stock price to be three times higher like it was the case for UPI, then take a look at Xing Yuan Holdings. So Zing if you want another holdings. undiscovered Look at that. Chinese company and wait for it to be discovered and the stock price to be three times higher like it was the case for UPI, then take a look at Xing Yuan Holdings. Wow. Take a look at it. Xing Yuan Holdings. Do you see that? Xing Yuan Holdings. We took a look and right now the market does not look pretty good. So again, everyone. When you, I know all of you say that you really don't pay attention to these YouTubers, that you take whatever they say to you as a grain of salt. Just understandably that somebody, it might not have been you, but somebody is taking the recommendations that these YouTubers are producing, right? Somebody. Because when you see this much due diligence of Sven going through a 19 minute video talking about one stock, you have a lot of people who felt that he did a great job and they were looking a little bit further into it and they maybe felt persuaded to come in and buy the stock. And now look, three years into it. So I just wanted to come in. I'm just doing a performance, an evaluation, an assessment of these stock picks that these YouTubers are doing because nobody else is doing it. So we need to start showing how good these stock YouTubers are at picking stocks. Now, in order to do that, we would need to see where the price was when they initially did the video. And then secondly, we need to know the point as to where they would get out the market, right? Either it will be a price target or it will be a time span. Those are the only two ways that you're able to get out the market. 
you let you have a price target to get in to get out or two you have a time level or a time preface to where you'll exit out your position those are the only two ways so I'm looking at this particular performance of the stock pick that Finn did from a time span perspective three years okay so we allowed this play to go on for the last three years and this is the current performance of that stock pick nothing more nothing less now if you had given us a price target for instance it said eight dollars then he would have tagged it he would have gotten right in the last first three months of when he did this video because the market came and hit that price target right there but he was considering that this particular market was undiscovered so he was looking for the market to really exceed in price I would presume but the market only tagged out around eight dollars but he didn't give us a price target he just told us that these are the four stocks to buy now. So now I'm done. If you guys want to learn what we do and get a better understanding how you're able to understand price predictions without being confused, without wasting 19 minutes of your time looking at charts, looking at data, you don't need all that. The only thing you need is understanding what price bars and volume mean, right? Let me give you this because you can already tell that while he was trying to pump this particular market in Zing Young, you guys can tell from the price chart perspective. Look at this. All you had to do was look at the price chart in this market and tell that $7 was already a place to where the market came and banged his head, maybe eight. Do you see this? It's not hard, it's not even complicated. We have to understand that the answers are already on the chart. This goes all the way back to 2009. He did the video in 2017. And we already had an indication to where the market could not break up above $8. It was already there. The market tried again 2013 and it still failed. The market tried again 2018, beginning of the year. He did the video in October 2017. He should have seen this. He should have said, well, you might want to be careful because seven, eight dollars. We've already seen the market get rejected previously in 2009 and 2013, but he didn't do that. So presumably, as this market in Zing Yin continues to trade, we will already be on guard to see eight dollars to be restriction to push the price down. It's nothing hard, nothing complicated about it, but he didn't mention that. He went through a whole 19 minutes video and did not even mention that at all. All you needed to know was that, that that could really impact Zing Yen's price movement higher. That's it. But he didn't mention that. Wow. So again, just wanted to show you all some things that you can really tell from the price chart perspective that you don't have to be bogged down and doing due diligence and trying to figure out how the market's gonna move over the long term, three to five years. You don't have to do all that. So tap in with me. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe. You guys appreciate the content because I know that there is a plethora of other YouTubers out there that is producing price recommendations, and we just want to see them. Let's just take a look and see how the market performed. That's all. So now I want to know. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and as always, trade different.